why demons get supported over your angelic ass. So listen, the reason that demons or a demon will, you know, get support because they will mask themselves with, you know, all everything that you are going through so you can feel related and you can attach to, you know, it's kind of like trauma bonding. But a demon, you know, the reason that they build up a legions of people is because everybody in that little league, they ain't shit. But the person who, who like, who's making this, right? Who's like the top demon, like big demon, like the demon, right? The big demon, the demon of all demons, right? This person, he has everybody, you know, under. It's not even, a, it don't got to be a he too, because demons, demons takes all type of forms and shapes. It don't even matter. It don't matter your gender, but look, everybody else will be like, okay, this person, we all got to act like this person and a bunch of demons, they will, they all connect to that because they feel like, oh, you know, before, before this person, I was lonely. I ain't had nobody that was on my, that, that knew what I was going through. So, you know, that's why a demon will, you know, build up a lot of like support, but you need to understand what you need, what you, moral of the story, what you need to understand is you basically can do the same thing, but you can choose to do it in an angelic way or, but you all got to understand that these demon energies is something that you have to utilize. You have to be more relatable so that people can feel you on a one-on-one -on -one basis, or you could be totally angelic and separate, you know, be isolated and be, you know, it's only you, but these demons, they get support based off, you know, another person wanting what they got or a uh, trauma bonding. Like they feel like they can relate to each other because they both got through some type of trauma. But the most important part is they need they need somebody to be around to feel like, you know, themselves. They don't they can't be themselves without having without themselves. They need to be under somebody just to be like, OK, this is me. And that's why a lot of these demons that you see big, oh, oh got all the, 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 the support that you want. It's because they are able to relate to the people, the masses on a, you know, a level that is beyond this physical. They come in, they come in at a point where, you know, they're going on a deep, deep, deep program level where sometimes it's psychology. They're not even necessarily trying to, uh, connect sometimes it's just the way that they be wording stuff and the way that they put it out it, it make people feel like yes this this is how i should be and when they got you like that the demon the, all the other demons just follow that one demon but the end of the day what a demon is it's just you overly connecting you overly you know being participating you you know not having your own thing like you not being, you know, your own organization, your own, you know, potential, you know, you. But like a demon is always feeding off another and always not themselves. And always only way that y'all are bonding is through some type of trauma. But yeah, that's why demons have more support than you. And you should never really, you know, care about the support. You should just care about you pushing off support care about you, you know, helping the people who want your help and, you know, don't care about if your flowers come. When they come, they come. Just don't know, don't care if they're going to come. Just know that you're doing good and they, they'll they come when it's supposed to come. But you worrying about, okay, this demon right here, but you thinking, you thinking from your mind state and you know, how you think, you're not thinking that this this is a demon and they, they not really, they don't have your morals, they don't have the way that you see life or the way that you go about life and sometimes that's the real reason that they in that position that they are in but you you can't you think it from your point of view with your morals and you trying to say yeah this person doing all good but you're not understanding you know they got a lot of shit that they going through behind the scene that actually make them able to you know connect to people on a one-on-one -on -one basis connect to people you know that's deeper than just the internet like they see they watch that video 
they feel emo they feel like they just talked to their therapist they feel like they just they went through therapy all type of shit and then you know that's when the trauma bonding began but yeah that's why demons get you know supported and attention but it's also angelic ones out here not demons but there's good demons there's bad there's bad angels either way you know it depends on how you use it if you want to use it for evil then you can if you want to use it for you know uh good then you can but either way though ain't no evil ain't no ain't no such thing as good or bad all, all that shit is just a bullshit argument that was made like probably 500 years ago but moral of the story is you know don't 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 look don't try to compare your situation to somebody else's y'all minds are not the same the way that they go through stuff you don't go through it like them do it they do it they might you know they might need a lot of a lot of help just to get through something that you can get through in like one day by yourself by your fucking self but yeah that's why demons get supported peace